Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for March 5th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Leo, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? Let's see what spirit has for you. Ooh, some of y'all are getting released. <laughs> Not like that. Okay, some of y'all are being released from some kind of bondage of another person, or I don't know, a, a crappy job, or unhappy living arrangement, okay? Some of you guys are getting out of something here, okay? This is your get out of jail free card right here, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> something is looking good for you, Leo, so far, okay? Now, how you feel about being released from this bondage may not be the best, but you are, it is looking good for you, okay? Something negative for your life you are being released from, okay? <clears throat> Turn around. Oh, sorry, my God. I was just doing the Gemini reading and that, that song popped into my head and now it's continuing into this one. Leave it! <clears throat> Excuse me. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Leo today, please. Show me that Leo energy, please. Show me the cards that I need to see for Leo today. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ah. One more four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. All right, in the past here, Leo, we have the Hermits in the Reversal. Okay, so, mm, so you could be dealing with someone that is a little overindulgent in either alcohol or drugs or smoking or something like this, okay? Um, let me see something here. Hold on. Turn around. Oh my god, okay, look at that. I'm not. <laughs> nope. This is also, yeah, okay, I knew I was missing something here. There's, this is also a card of being um, someone running away from problems. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo, okay? This is, maybe, okay? <laughs> Hermit's Virgo energy. So this is a card of running away from problems by being hyper-social instead of quiet reflection. So, like, someone that um, goes around to, like, instead of, like, taking the time, they, the necessary time that they need in order to process or work through something or whatever they're going around and like hey want to hang out what are you doing this weekend you want to go to a party what do you what's which club do you want to go to this weekend something like that okay so you could be dealing with someone like this or some of you might be going through a situation like this possibly it's not going to be for everyone take it as it resonates feel free to reverse the roles as needed okay clarify the hermit reversed for um leo in the past please i mean also the hermit in the upright represents like you know, pulling your energy back um, from people, okay, in the reversal, it could be you getting back out there into the world in some kind of way, all right? It doesn't always have to be a bad thing. So clarify the Hermit Reverse for Leo in the past, please, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let me get one more. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Turn around. Okay. All right. It's not looking the best for someone, Leo. I'm not going to lie, Okay. Someone is feeling very backstabbed or upset, okay, unhappy. We have the Ace of Cups in the reversal here, which is emotional unfulfillment, okay? Someone's really hurt by someone else, okay? We have the Nine of Wands, okay? So if I say okay one more time, like, oh my God. We have the Nine of Wands, which means that you are working through something here. You are almost all the way through a difficult time period or a difficult situation in which um, there was a lot of unhappiness and feeling, you know, backstabbed by someone for, so to speak. Okay, someone did you wrong. Absolute betrayal, financial ruin. So this is most likely the ending of a relationship, one that you cared a lot about, Leo. Okay, most likely. That's not going to be for everyone. This could be like um, 
like getting fired or getting kicked out of somewhere as well, okay? Or like finding out that your friends were talking negatively about you whenever you weren't around, something like this, okay? You're almost work, like you've worked through this situation here. You do have a victory or something to be proud of for how you handled the situation, I would say, Leo, but this was a very, not a very easy situation to go through. So clarify this past situation for Leo, please. Okay, I wouldn't even blame you for going around trying to get your mind off of whatever this is, okay? What else? One, two, three, four, okay. Let me get one more four. One, two, three, four, there we go. Four of Cups in the Reversal. This is another card of breaking out of one's shell. Four of Pentacles, okay. Seven of Cups reversed and the Knight of Swords, okay. So this is something, Leo, where I feel like you were not necessarily wanting to have to move forward here, but it's like you didn't have another choice, okay. Um, some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn, all right, but you were trying or like wanting to really hold on to this situation or find a way to work through it, but it's really like you had no other choice, okay? Like you had to just push past all these emotions that you were feeling, move forward, break out of your shell and go out there, so to speak, in order to work through these situations or work through these emotions and whatever situation that you can. Uh, this was very painful and hard for you, okay, for, for someone watching this. This was not easy, okay? Jesus. Some of you are dealing with someone that was manipulative as well, okay? In the present, we have the Page of Wands in the Reversal, okay? So, clarify Page of Wands in the Reversal for Leo in the present, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is this talking about? What are we talking about here? One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One. What is that? Knight of Pentacles. What else? One, two, three, four. Ten of Wands. One more. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Okay, so someone wants to take action on this situation here. They might want to come towards you. Um, Leo, okay, again, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, maybe, I don't know, but this is like a burden, okay, this was a burden to you, we, you could be seeing angel numbers 1010 for some of you, but this was a burden to you, okay, and you know that if you would, was to try to work out the situation or whatever, someone's waiting on you to come to them, but I don't think that you're going to, you see this as a burden, and this already did not work out, okay, <laughs> With the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups in the reversal, you see it as a burden and as something that already didn't work out. You've already been through a lot with the situation. <coughs> but somebody could be expecting you to come towards them, okay? Maybe because they think that you're young and naive or something like this, or maybe you don't see them for who they truly are or what they have going on. This is a negative person, okay? Clarify this president. Ah. I don't even know what that means. Okay, <laughs> present, clarify the president. Clarify the present situation for Leo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Nine of Cups. Okay, Eight of Wands in the reversal. Three of Cups. And the Two of Swords in the reversal. Okay. So I feel like you are happy right now, or you are at least like trying to see the positive side of life right right now you could be um hanging out with friends and maybe partying or more of like celebrating in some kind of way but you do feel like things are slow moving at this time you could be having a little bit of aftermath of having to deal with these emotions at this time in the present okay and it's like every second feels like a minute every minute feels like an hour every hour feels like a day or something all right some type of energy like this going on okay um you could i don't know there's something here about being decisive. I feel like you have your mind made up about something here. For some of you, there is something that you need to decide and you, instead of like, are taking the time that you need in order to make the decision whenever it comes to something here, you you might just be putting it off or pushing it to the side until you get to an emotional standpoint or emotional state where you can actually make that decision, okay? For some of you here, that's not gonna be for everyone. And again, take it as it resonates, okay? In the future here, Leo, we have the Emperor and the Reversal, okay? Emperor and the Reversal. 
you could be dealing with somebody that is, I don't know, trying to um, control you or intimidate you or bully you in some kind of way. Um, or you just could be feeling like you're not in a powerful position or you could be feeling like um, you have no power or something here. Clarify the Emperor Reverse for Leo in the future, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries, okay? The Emperor is Aries energy. Clarify the future situation for Leo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Okay. Knight of Swords and the Nine of Cups again. Okay, I don't know. Wow. So we have the Moon in the Reversal. You could have someone that is trying to come towards you, Leo, and you might be finding out about it. Uh, this is looking kind of better than it was, okay? You could be finding out that someone wants to make a move towards you, and this is going to bring you a lot of happiness. You might feel, like, weak towards this person, like they, like, make you weak or something, but not in a bad way. More like you just... This could be someone that you really enjoy, okay? Could be, especially with this Nine of Cups here. But you are moving ahead either way. Um, the If this is a situation where someone's trying to control you or something like this okay if it's like the negative aspect of this this could be you finding out something about someone okay that was trying to um control you but you're still moving ahead and you're happy okay you're not worried about whatever this is okay it's i feel like this is more of the good side though okay i feel like you could be feeling weak towards someone that is like really someone that you really like or really like to be around or really enjoy or something like this and they are wanting to come towards you clarify this future situation for leo please holy spirit holy angels one two three four one more four one two three four okay we have the death card the world card yeah this is more happiness than anything the emperor and the upright okay <laughs> Yeah, I would say this is more happiness than anything, okay? There have been big changes in your energy, or there will be, okay? Everything you have worked for is coming together with this world card. This is also a card of success after struggle, okay? We have the Emperor. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. Oh, I need to sneeze. Now we have the Six of Wands, Leo Energy, okay? That one just went away, so there's no telling. <laughs> so you guys could be really, like, something is really working out for you here. You could be finding new love or have someone new coming in that is actually worth your time, energy, or effort here, Leo, okay? You could be getting recognized for something that you're doing, recognition at work or recognition in general, or you could just be happy that someone in a powerful position is recognizing you or someone in some kind of leadership position is recognizing you. Um, yeah, this is going to be a big change for you in the good in the good way. Okay, this is looking very good for you. So you do have something very nice to look forward to. <laughs> so at least that. Let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of this situation for you, Leo. Okay, see what Big Bubba Mac has to say about it. Big Bubba Mac, Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Leo today, please. Show me that Leo energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the cards that I need to see for Leo today. One, two, three, four. We have For the Streets. Yeah, y'all was dealing with somebody that's For the Streets here in this present and past situation here. <laughs> for the Streets. Okay, you could have been dealing with somebody that's like... I don't know, talking to multiple people or just like are not, they don't have their stuff together in some kind of way. You're dealing with somebody that's for the streets. What else? One, two, three, four. We have Hammer. You could be dealing with someone that works with their hands or works with tools or some kind of information could be coming in, hit you like a hammer, okay? Could be uh, a lot of different things, okay? For the streets. Uh, anyway, what else? One, two, three, four. Someone's first middle or last name could start with a K, yours or theirs, okay? Or you could just be like, K, okay. <laughs> whatever. All right, what else? One, two, three, four. We have I. Someone's first one or our last name could start with an I. Yours or theirs, okay? What else? One, two, three, four. Clear your mind. You might need to clear your mind at this time, Leo. I would recommend meditation or breath work 
or going for a walk or anything that you can do in order to clear your mind. It might be very significant for you, okay? What else? One, two, three, four. Especially if you're finding out some information that you don't want to hear. We have hate. Someone could be feeling hateful towards you or you towards someone or something about hate is significant here. No bueno. What else? One, two, three, four. We have meditate. You might need to meditate at this time. Like I said, clear your mind. This is a very good way to clear your mind is to meditate. All you have to do is stop what you're doing. Be like, okay, this is my time. Close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. And just go back to the breath. Your mind naturally will wander anyway. It's naturally going to do that. As soon as you realize that your mind has wandered, go back to the breath. Your mind's going to wander, analyze, see that your mind's wandered, go back to the breath. Some of y'all already know how to meditate, but I'm just like, I like to, I want to start a channel where I teach people how to meditate or something like that, because it would be very beneficial. What else? We have past. Something about someone's past is significant here. You could be thinking about your past, okay? That's what you need to clear your mind about, or something about someone's past is significant, all right? What else? One, two, three, four. Shame. Someone could be feeling shameful about something that they did to you, okay? Or you could be feeling ashamed about your past or something like this. We can't change the past. There ain't no need to worry about it, okay? <laughs> I know it's a lot easier said than done, but you know, um, yeah, I would recommend the meditation. What else? One, two, three, four. Plant or plants. You could be someone that owns plants or you have a plant or, you, or plants or you work at a plant or something about plant or plants is significant here. What else? One, two, three, four. We have queen. Who are I speaking to? You and some queen energy here, okay? You're looking very good, doing very good. Handling your business, okay? What else? One, two, three, four. We have pregnancy, okay? Some of you might be dealing with an actual pregnancy right, right now. We don't really have that in this card. The three of cups can be a card of pregnancy, so you might need to keep that in the back of your mind if you're not wanting that. But also this could be pregnant with like a new idea. Okay, so you guys could have some kind of new idea coming in, all right? So make space for that. What else? One, two, three, four. We have present. Something about the present right now. Okay, so you could be having this idea soon if you haven't had it already. Or something about the present is significant here, okay? What else? One, two, three, four. We have J. Someone's first middle or last name could start with a J. Yours or theirs, okay? J-I-K. What else? One, two, three, four. We have call or calling. Someone could be calling you or you calling someone or something about call or calling is significant here. All right, you could be getting a call soon for some of you. One more. One, two, three, four. We have dark. Okay, something about someone, I don't know, you're dealing with somebody that's got some dark energy around them. I would just be very careful about that, okay? Uh, that ain't looking good. <laughs> Could be getting a call from someone that's got like a dark energy attachment on them or something. Someone might be drunk when they call you or something, so just be careful. All right, Leo, let's get a message from the Ancestors Oracle card to see what your ancestors have to say about this. If this message is resonating with you so far, Leo, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? Ancestors, spirit guides, God, angels, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Leo today, please. Show me that Leo energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for the Leos. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four. One more four, please. One, two, three, four. There we go. Rhythm maker and tempo. Rhythm, maker, and tempo. Let's read it. All right. In the beginning was the beat. 14 million years ago, the universe began with a beat, a pulsation of energy and matter, and the beat goes on. Rhythms are such a part of life that we tend to overlook how fundamental they are, yet they are with us at all times. Your first experience of rhythm was while you were in your mother's womb. With the rudimentary conscious awareness of physicality came the awareness of rhythm. As you developed, you were continually immersed in rhythms such as your mother's heartbeat and breath. These rhythms would fluctuate during these early formative weeks and months. Even now, you cannot help but notice how dominant rhythms are to everyday life. 
There is a rhythmic dance going on at all times around you and inside of you. It is the most elemental experience of being alive. That is what the card means. This is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. They're saying, you're feeling out of sync with the natural rhythms of your body and your surroundings. Being out of sync can create anxiety, confusion, and in its extreme disorientation. Pause for a few minutes, close your eyes, and allow your breathing to be at a natural pace. Step out of time and simply notice your heartbeat and your breathing. Notice how even ordinary physical movements such as tapping your fingers, nodding your head, or walking carry with them innate rhythms. Experiment with drumming and dancing. You don't need a drum to create a drumming rhythm, and you don't need to be a professional to move to the beat of your favorite songs. Allow your body to express itself rhythmically through movement and sound, and notice how doing so can shift your feelings. Let go of your inhibitions and let the rhythm flow through you and express as you. As you let go, you'll enter into a different state of consciousness, one where the rhythm of your movement is moving you, okay? Might even be beneficial to dance at this time, Leo. I would say that, okay? All right, Leo, this is going to be the end of your reading for today. Make sure to come back next Tuesday from a reading from myself, okay? Thank you all so much for being here, and thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It really does help out the channel, okay? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first.